Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today we're looking at the best formation and tactic for Napoli and we're coming up against Inter Milan who are playing a 3-5-2. So we've gone for a pretty much standard 4-3-3. Attacking instructions, possession, short pass, central attacking air, flexible positioning and 5 support range. So the thing keen behind this is I'm very sort of comfortable with their wingers tucking inside they've got good ball control um good uh good acceleration as well um good agility so i'm really happy with them to cut inside and the five for support range is quite nice as well uh gives a nice spacing between the players defensively frontline pressure a middle aggressive a really high defensive line and why is this well, i'm really comfortable with manalas and Koulibaly. um you know even if they're isolated against most of the top strikers, um, it's hard to beat that sort of defensive pairing, to be honest. Um, and then, you know, nice and compact as well. Advanced instructions, attacking fullbacks. Again, happy to have Koulibaly and Malas just deal with uh, whatever threat's coming their way. So I'm happy for the fullbacks to get forward and uh, overload those wings. And then we've gone for Swarm the Box because... Obviously, if any crosses do come in to Manas and Koulibaly, I expect them to sort of deal with those. It is on Legend difficulty, 15 minutes worth of match time. Let's get this underway. So here we are at the Stadio San Paolo. So I want to really use the sort of overload on the wings. The midfielders have got great passing range as well. We've all got you know, 84, I think. 83 might be the lowest for passing. And the highest is 85, which is which is really important in this game. Uh, the, that, those passing stats. Uh, here's uh, my favourite player, Ashley Young, dispossessing my player of the ball. So, just going to see how this is going to pan out. And he's just tucking inside here. You can see see that and this guy Mertens you know I've got no problem with him sort of um, coming out of defense uh, sorry coming off that front line and picking the ball up because he's got tons of ability um, but you saw back then when they had the counter on how quickly uh, Manas I think it was who came out to um, deal with that sort of dangerous situation That's a corner. What? Ah, oh, come on, ref. Not sure about that. Um, as for the choices with the fullbacks, uh, both have got pinpoint crossing, and their stats are just are just better. Not the highest overall on the right hand, on the right back position, but he has got, um, you know, he has got a pinpoint crossing, which to me is really important. But here, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for this, you know. Playing a really high defensive line. Manalas and Koulibaly, absolute beasts um, defensively. So, not afraid at all. This is where we can shine. Oh, what a save. Should be 1-0. That was a wonderful save there. I did everything right. You know... What defence this team have got. <laughs> and that allows you to play this sort of free flowing attacking football. And you've got beasts like Koulibaly and Malas at the back. Just feels so comfortable. You know, <laughs> I'm used to like bloody Chris Smalling and uh, Lindelof and Eric Bai 
is a Man United fan. So to have these two at the back is just, it's just heaven, really. Um, but here's the first threat from Inter Milan. Let's see what they've got. Well, this is dangerous, but look at that. Look at that. Oh, what a ball as well. It's been drawing me a little bit. Oh, he didn't bite. But now we've got possession again. Oh, God, that was, you know, some of these moves, it, you, you start to pick up the tempo just as you get towards goal and start shifting the ball a bit quicker. Sometimes, you know, you are going to have to expect errors in passing when you do that, but there's always not the chance that it could come off or could work and, you know, you could get that vital chance to score, so... You can't play it too safe all the time, especially in the final third. But in these areas of the pitch, I would say just be, be really patient on legend difficulty. Just keep moving the ball. Keep it really simple, really. Um, it's probably the best piece of advice. You know, I'm not doing anything spectacular here. Just moving players around. It's a bit like a, a jigsaw puzzle. Just trying to figure out um, how, how I can get forward without them getting anywhere near the ball. And which runners I need to set off on a run like I have here. Unlucky. And then I'll pull it back. I might have a hit here. See what's up. You know, things like that can happen. Deflection could run into your path. So it's all about just trying to, like I say, unlock, unlock that defence. You know, break the puzzle. Because that's exactly what it is. You can see here, I'm absolutely toying with this Inter Milan team. Oh, that's a heavy touch. But look, oh no, that was a really poor pass from Kulabali, but look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I've got, when they've only got one striker up like that, I'm like, oh, that's, that's easy. Tell you what, Ashley Young's been their best player. He's dispossessed my right back a few times now. He fouled him that time, but... <laughs> He has been pretty uh, pretty solid on that side. Here he is. Okay, so I've brought Madeline on site. Oh, good effort. Should have dealt with that better, really, but... Should have kept Madeline's back central. Well, run that. Just got to try and hold it up, mate. Run into the space and just wait for support. Wait for the numbers to to get forward. Um, obviously, before I, you know, until you score a goal, Inter Milan is such a nightmare to play against. Ashley Young is like the freaking second coming of bloody Paolo Maldini back there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> that was too easy for their defence to pick that up. So you know they're they're quick to shift backwards, so it's gonna be really hard to break this team down. Let's try this. Let's try it. No, I've set him on a run. That's dragged Ashley in quite deep. Allow me to get the cross in and... Oh, couldn't quite get that on the cross. I feel like I easily had the better chances in this game. Um, just hasn't, hasn't quite dropped to one of my players just yet. And they've been really, really defensive. So hopefully they're going to, you know... At some point, they're going to have to come out and attack. We can't just keep defending like this.
is actually in it. He's having just as many problems as getting past my fullback as I've had trying to get past him. And now oh, we're ahead. And if we've got the strength to hold him off, we have. But the second player's coming in. It's going to be a bit fresher, so we know that you know each player has a little bit of stamina, a little bit of time on the ball before they'll just lose it quite easily. So. Just behind Alan there. So frustrating. Totally and utterly boss this game. Look at that. They've barely strung 37 passes together. And that's with a high press. Happy to just let the two centre backs deal with any threats. Like the likes of Lukaku, Sanchez, or Martinez. Pay too much attention to their lineup to be honest, but yeah, whatever they've got, I am comfortable that those two back there, Malamas and Kulabali, will be able to deal with any threat. That's bread and butter. Bread and butter for Kulabali. Okay, it looks like uh, they've pushed a little bit higher, they're, they're pressing further up the pitch. And, uh, in it, hopefully. That's a bit, that is a bit lame, really. Should have uh, thought about that a bit better. Got man wide here. Right, he just went through the middle and easy save for the goalkeeper. Damn, couldn't get the ball around the corner there. It's a bit more open this game now. Both ways are. Uh, you know, that was lucky. <laughs> Beat my man to that one. And go over the top of the midfield. Nope. And this time the super council to bring my player back and. Going on there. Oh, you know, it's a half chance, isn't it? It's a half chance, these ones. Opened it up nicely, but you know, Mertens just links the play so, so well. Oh, what is going on? How did he not link on, link up with that, that ball there? Yeah. So I didn't even use Super Council to link up, you know, get on that, on that, that, that ball to him. So I'm not sure why, why he didn't pick it up. That's beautiful. Beautiful play. I'm starting to really penetrate them now, and that's because they've gone forward. Ah, oh, just, just that final ball. You know, you just need your players to to make that pass. If they could, we'll be uh, absolutely fine. Starting to lose faith in these these final balls. This is better. Oh yes, that's better. That was absolutely perfect. You still have to believe in your players that they can pull the pass off. You know, as soon as it opened up here, as soon as I draw this defender across, I was like, he's open. He's ahead of uh, number six. 
Maybe number six couldn't get back in. It's just this pass here had to be perfect. I trust in Merton's ability. You know, he's one player that I can trust. And yeah, he lays it on a plate for Insignia. Also with this formation and tactic, you know, they got good backups for all the positions. I mean, if you're playing a mass league, the one position I'd probably strengthen is that central midfield area. Um, yeah, there's plenty of options you could go for, but you sort of want one battler, so someone with good defensive um, awareness and ball winning, and then sort of players around him to support. But you've got to have high passing, like 83 should be the absolute minimum. Um, I probably wouldn't accept less than 85, to be honest. That way you know your passes are going to sort of hit the target more often than not. Oh, he's sort of stopped, but he's got it. Oh, that, that came off. Got a little pressure here. That's it. Forced him to kick it long. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Giving possession away. Nice and cheap. Nice and cheaply. And if you ever play against Inter Milan, you'll know how hard they are to break down with them. I mean, they've got some solid defenders as well. And obviously, some very dangerous attackers. It's cute about it. You can see the space opening up though from from my players now. Ah, oh, he stopped stopped his run then. My my fullback, who might have because he he's running offside or. If the, if the options aren't on, always come back to these two over here. They're, they're always going to be available nine times out of ten. So, you know, if, if the ball's not on, don't force it. I see so many players, like, try to force, force a ball. That's not on. And then just, just turn over a possession unnecessarily. You can't afford to do that on Legend because if you give them a ball, you know, you're not going to see it for long periods like this. So, try to isolate their best players, which is what I've done more or less, you know. Ah, oh, so I couldn't quite get through that. Look at that. You know, you, they can't expect to do that sort of pass when they're not facing the right way. And then expect Kudabali not to just come out and munch it up. Lovely bit of skill. Oh, Mertens. Just why This was beautiful, though. Let's see this again. You know, really starting to carve them open. Defensively, nothing to worry about whatsoever. I mean, this is probably my favourite central defensive pairing. My loss and Kudabali. They're just absolute... Rocks back there. No, I've said that, I probably can see now. From across all these things from Ashley Young. <laughs> oh, look at that for a ball. <laughs> right. Three against three here. Oh, it's just. It's just that final ball. It's just. You know, not happened for me today, but. On another day. Oh, look at that. What is this? You know, it's the sort that, that sort of thing that goes in off the underside of the bar or some absolute wonder strike would uh, would definitely take the gloss off this off this performance. Really, it's it has been really really good. I'm really satisfied with how well this uh, this formation and tactic does, even against a you know a three five two eight five bloody defenders that uh, you know yeah you pretty much got five defenders to deal with. Ah, oh, I couldn't get it back to the fullback there. Oh, hello. Ah! Oh, wanted to go the other player. It's my fault. I haven't made any substitutions and just saw this guy here. He's trying to tackle Ashley Young. His head was down and a little bit tired, but there we go, ladies and gents. Complete and utter domination of Inter Milan. I mean, if that doesn't show what a good formation that is on legend difficulty, I, I don't know what does.
Um, you know, let's let's just take a look at the stats. 61% possession. Gee whiz, 198 passes completed out of 225. You know, 27 misplaced passes that, you know, almost double what Inter Milan put together. And they started attacking the second half. So, you know, that just shows you how comfortable, um, you know, the solid defensive um, of those, certainly those back two, just, just, they're just like the uh, the building blocks for everything. But if you're playing a mass league, definitely look to strengthen that midfield. Maybe add some sort of backup def midfielders. Depends how much money you've got to spend. Uh, maybe you can offload a couple other players. Um, defensively, you could probably just bring in one more um, young defender like Kamara, um, who I'd highly recommend. Um, up front, you know, you probably got to look to replace Mertens at some point. He's getting older, um, but but certainly the first season he's going to be fine. Maybe the second season as well. But after that, you're going to have to look to sort of replace him. Anyway, that's all from me, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.